In this video, our goal is to find area inside r equals 2 sine theta, so inside this circle here, and outside r equals 1, so outside this circle here. So first off, let's identify the area we're looking for. So what we're basically going to do is take the area inside this and outside this, and we can do this in a single integral, but what we will need are what these angles are. So, to get those angles, well, it's where these two intersect. So it's where 2 sine theta equals 1. So 2 sine theta equals 1 gives us sine theta equals 1 half. So in the first quadrant, that means theta equals pi over 6. So that's this line here, theta equals pi over 6. Over in this quadrant, in the second quadrant, that's going to be the angle theta equals 5 pi over 6. So a reference angle of pi over 6. Those will be the limits of our definite integral. Now, let's go ahead and set up our definite integral. We're going from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. And remember that for area of a polar curve, it's 1 half times the radius squared. So 2 sine theta squared. And now we have to subtract out this piece here. Because what's going to happen is as it rotates through, it's going to subtract this, this area here out of our circle. And that came from 1 half with a radius of 1, so 1 half times 1 squared d theta. So here is our integral. So let's see what this looks like as we simplify. We might have to use some substitutions here, pi over 6, or tables of integrals, 5 pi over 6. Here we're going to have 1 half, both these have to get squared, so 2 squared is 4, and sine squared theta minus 1 half times 1, which is just a half, d theta. So, we have pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. If we want, we could, I'm going to go ahead and factor a 1 half out instead of multiplying it through. And I'll have, now let's go ahead and do multiply through. So 2 sine squared theta minus 1 half d theta. So I'm going to continue this integral on a separate sheet of paper because it's going to get a little bit longer. So we got, this can be split into two separate integrals. So we've got the integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 2 sine squared theta d theta minus the integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 1 half d theta. This one will be pretty quick. It's just a constant. This one we're going to do a substitution for sine squared theta. You could also use tables of integrals. I just want to show you another way of doing it. So over here, we're going to go from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 2. And now the, we're going to use a half angle identity, which is 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2 d theta minus, now this one we can finish off, it's just 1 half times 5 pi over 6 minus pi over 6. So we'll calculate that in the, uh, in the next step. Now, here, those twos will cancel. And so we've got pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 1 minus cosine of 2 theta d theta minus 1 half times 4 pi over 6. 
sorry. All right, antiderivative here. Antiderivative of 1 is just theta. Antiderivative of cosine is sine, so minus sine of 2 theta. Now, because it's 2 theta, we'll have to divide by a 2 from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 minus half of pi over 6 is going to be 2 pi over 6. Now we could reduce that, but I'm going to leave it as pi over 6 for some combining here in, the, in a latter step. Let's plug in our limits and see what we get. 5 pi over 6 minus sine of 2 times 5 pi over 6 over 2 minus, let's put this in parentheses, pi over 6 minus sine of 2 times just pi over 6 over 2 minus 2 pi over 6.